Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I apologize for not being around, but a lot has been going on, you guys. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, one of them being my hair, y'all. You see, I cut my hair. Like I cut my hair, like literally cut it. But I love it. I love it. I love it. Look, look, look. Like I pretty much cut the shit. Cut. But um, I love it. It looks so good. And um, <clears throat> the reason why I cut it was like um, I had a lot of a lot of split ends, you guys. And not really split ends only. It was like damaged because. It was like thin some areas. I don't like when my hair looks thin. Like I prefer my hair look. I prefer shorter hair if it's going to be thick. I love thick hair. See? Yeah, so it's like cut, cut. Cut, cut, cut. But it's so thick, so healthy. And um, yeah, so that just happened like yesterday <laughs> i just cut it yesterday um yeah and then i'll just start i think i'm gonna start like a journey my relaxed hair journey all over again because i started it and since the damage um to, of course lack of taking care of my hair that's why just always having it up because you know i always wear like my wigs and I just never really moisturize it and all that other good stuff you're supposed to do. Oh, did you notice? We got a puppy. And his name is Max. Max, say hi. Put your paw up. Put your paw up. Put your paw up. So, yeah, you guys. I am not um a dog person i'm not an animal person whatsoever well i never thought i could be and my kids have been asking me for a puppy for so long you guys <sighs> until finally i was scrolling on facebook one day and i saw one of my facebook friends said hey they're selling you know their puppies like their 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 dogs just had puppies so he's a purebred yorkie oh he's so cute um his name is max um he's eight weeks now we had him for about two and a half weeks he was really young when we got him um which is really good you know because my kids will have the experience like, we're going the long haul with him. I want to. You know, that's the goal. I want them to help, you know, grow him up and everything like that. They were so happy when we got him. Because me and my husband were like, hmm, should we do this? Are we ready for more responsibility? You know, it's hard when you're both working and... Um, <laughs> look at him. He's like so tiny. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's hard when you're both working, you have kids, you have all these responsibilities and we're like, can we really, you know, give another person love right now? And you know what? I'm so happy we did get him um, because he's just such, he's, he's so good. He's a good boy. He doesn't get in that much trouble. And, um, and he brings a lot of love to my home. Like, my kids love him. Like, my daughter, she freaking, she takes care of him like, like it's her son or something. Uh, she calls him her little brother, like her other little brother. 
Maxi boy. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, she takes him. <laughs> Come get your close up, Max. I took his collar off. I forgot to put it back on because I gave him a shower. I gave him a bath yesterday. I gave him a bath yesterday. So, um, that's why he doesn't have his collar on. But he's such a good boy, you guys. Such a good boy. Um, so I wanted to come to you guys with that. Um, yeah, but <clears throat> we're trying to, like, I don't know if he's going to be, like, um, a total house dog. We're trying to potty train him. He has his little pee pads and stuff. And we still try to take him outside and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, I think he'll he'll do okay. The older he gets, he'll get better. And um, yeah, he's gonna be our my my kid's childhood pet. Our childhood pet. Like I'm not even a pet person. Like I said it right. I I didn't know I could actually like a pet. It's crazy, but he's so cute, like, you guys, you guys, and to know that the older he gets, he's going to get more furry, like he's going to grow more hair, oh my gosh, coffee, I just feel so good this Sunday, you know, I got work in the morning, but. I'm just going to make the most of my weekend. I did already. I'm going to make the most of my day today. But, um, yeah, so I've been MIA because I've just been going through a lot. I just um, had to spend $1,300 um, to fix my car one morning last week. I just um, started it to go to work. And um, it was like jumping. So I'm like, oh shit, you know, because I'm not a car person. My husband's not a car person. Like, he could do simple shit, but nothing. He's not a mechanic. So, <clears throat> so when I saw that my car was having um, issues, I was like, oh no, I'm going to the mechanic. So the mechanic calls me the first time and says, okay, spark plugs with that and labor, the, the you know, to get the, the, what is it, the material or the parts, to get the parts and the labor for 50. I said, okay. Then he calls me like an hour later and says, oh, you got to replace, um, we got to replace like two or three coils, I think he said. And then we noticed the gasket, the valve gasket and all that. It was crazy. So yeah, I had to dish that out. But what I do think um, we're gonna do, I asked my husband, like, what do you think we should do? And he's like, you know what, pay for it, get it fixed, then we sell that shit and buy my SUV that I wanted. So I will be buying an SUV shortly. Um, then again, maybe not. I'll, I'll pause on that, I don't know. I don't know, maybe. You know, I'm like so tempted. You know when you want something, you're like so tempted, like, oh I gotta get it. I gotta get it. He's so tiny, you guys, like. This puppy is so tiny. He's so tiny. And I love hair, so it's good that he has a lot of hair. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> So, um, kids are starting school, you know, it's tax free weekend y'all. So now would be the good time to shop. I want to shop online. I think I'm going to get most of this stuff online tonight actually, because I completely forgot. It started since the second, but I've been so busy. <laughs> um, I didn't get it. Oh shit. That reminds me. I think, excuse me, my puppy needs food. I think this food is almost done. So I'm going to stop and get him some. Not stop. I'm going to go on the road and get him some. The pet supermarket is like, is like right by my house. 
um yeah so that's i guess basically um a quick summary of what's been going on so i think i got everything down car fucked up got it repaired kids wanted a pet got him a puppy before christmas i am just doing great like i think i'm doing good as a mom i should get like mom of the year award for this shit like a mom that doesn't like animals brought a puppy bought a puppy for uh, my kids and they're always playing with him always playing with little max you know um and yeah and cutting my hair like oh my god let me see if i can get like a good i don't know if y'all can see like this is I don't know, is it even shaking? I guess I'll see once I do the, um, once I look at the video, but basically, my husband, um, well, my husband always relaxes my hair. I relax my hair probably like three to four times a year. Every three months or every four months. I try to do every four months. Like this time it was four. And, um, <clears throat> Yeah, so he relaxed my hair, and it turned out really, really good. Like, he did a really good job. Good job, babe. I mean, he always does a good job. Like, how many of y'all can say, oh, yeah, babe helps me relax my hair? Like, I don't go to hairdressers. I don't think a hairdresser knows my hair better than I know my hair. I just have a lot of products. I, you know, have, well, I recently stopped up. On a lot of products again because I just stopped you know sometimes when you have those wigs and stuff and you got a whole bunch of stuff going on you forget about your hair your real hair and you neglect uh, taking responsibility of it so um, I'm definitely gonna start um, taking care of my hair again I'll probably do another video on this um, just an update of my hair and um, yeah I think I'm gonna track I'm gonna like do a little journey of my hair growth and what works if the moisturizing would work um, the hair oils and creams and all that good stuff that I use because my issue is it's always dry because it's like I hardly have time to take care of it and I know it's not an excuse because you should always make time for yourself um, I just neglected doing that like if I get free time I rather spend that time like uh, on Netflix or watching TV like 90 Day Fiance and all that stuff um, but yeah so I will come to you guys. Oh, he wants to go. He wants to go. He wants to go. Oh, let's not show your privates on uh, YouTube. <laughs> but um, yeah, so um, I will be back with a hair update soon, you guys. Probably like a wash day routine or like a nighttime routine because I realize I don't see a lot of relaxed uh nighttime routines anymore because everyone's going natural <laughs> um yeah i'm not going natural sorry and i just think it's a preference you know what i'm saying it's um it's a preference i won't get into details on it i don't have a problem with natural and i don't have a problem with relaxed hair i just think it's your preference for me you see i can't even handle relaxed hair so I don't have time to deal with um, deal with uh, natural hair at this time. Maybe later on in life, I don't know. But right now I love my relaxed hair. I love how manageable it is. And I can just wake up, shake, shake and go. Shake and go, shake and go. So, um, yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video, and um, I'll talk to you later. Bye!
Say bye, Max. Bye. <laughs>